another Pflugerville Public Library cooking video. Today we will be making blue chocolate chip cookies. They are blue because they are from Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief book. In that book, Percy is obsessed with blue food, so his mom always makes him blue chocolate chip cookies. And we'll be taking that uh, inspiration from that book and making these! And it's gonna be delicious! The perfect cookie for the summer! And the book is an incredible read, and it's available in person at the actual library and online. Be sure to check it out. Now, let's get started. Okay. So, as you know, I'm not the best in these cooking videos, but today is going to be different because today I'm not top. We start by preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I've already lined the pan with parchment paper because I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> I should be on the Great British Bake Off. That would be fun, huh? Oh, I would, oh, I would be so good on that show. Can I just eat their food? I just want to eat the food from that show. Can they make it gluten-free? Okay, now we'll be mixing in a separate bowl. Isn't it a pretty bowl? I'm very proud of this bowl. <laughs> Who's proud of a bowl? <laughs> okay, we'll be mixing all of our dry ingredients. So that includes our flour, our baking soda, our baking powder, our salt, and that's it. So let's go ahead and start mixing those dry ingredients. We're gonna start with the flour and this recipe calls for three cups of flour. I got my flour, just all purpose flour here. Yummy, yummy flower. I wonder how they named flower. Because there's like flower and then there are like flowers and they're very different. All right, so first cup. One. Two. Three. Three cups. Now we'll be adding baking soda. Baking soda. So we'll be using, I forgot our teaspoons and our tablespoons. How many tablespoons? We just need teaspoons. Okay, we just need teaspoons. 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 I feel like I'd be a really good opera singer. Teaspoon! One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon. Boop. Baking powder. And we'll be adding half a teaspoon of the baking powder. Half a teaspoon, boop. One teaspoon of sea salt. Now we're supposed to whisk it all up. It's just a lot of white. There's nothing interesting yet because it's just white. <laughs> it's white. Whisk it, whisk it. Now we're gonna set that over to the side and we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients. So, we need one cup of salted butter. Unfortunately, I don't have softened butter right now. But, fun fact, you can soften butter really quickly by using a cheese grater. I love Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. It was my favorite book of all time when I was in fourth grade. And we read it with my teacher. And I remember sitting there and thinking about how 
amazing books are. I remember being there and talking with my friends after class about how badly we wanted this book to win the Blue Bonnet Award. And it didn't win, but all of my class voted for it. And we loved it so much. I used to play games about the book in uh, the park with my friends. And it was just such, such a cool thing. I still love the book now. I think it's a phenomenal book, no matter what the age you are. It's kind of one of those timeless books, which is really cool. And I have always wanted to try the blue chocolate chip cookies. All right, we've got our softened butter. It looks like cheese. We're just gonna plop that into our mixer. All right, now it's time for everybody's favorite part, the mixer. Brown sugar, one cup. And now one cup of regular granulated white sugar. And now we'll be turning the mixer on. Oh, first we have to And now we turn it on. And we're gonna mix it all together until it looks nice and creamy and yummy. I'll show you a picture. All right, here it is. Doesn't it look delicious? So next, we are going to add the eggs and the vanilla. And we're gonna beat it until it's fluffy. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. Okay, I know my singing voice isn't the best whenever I do that, but it's fun. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. I'm sorry, Amanda. Okay. Two eggs. I kind of want to juggle them. Don't try this at home. Can I juggle three? No, I can't. I'm not gonna try that. One egg. Two eggs. Always remember, always remember to wash your hands after you handle raw eggs. Nobody wants salmonella. Two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, I love vanilla. I mean, call me basic, but like a vanilla cake. Oh, it's my favorite cake. My birthday is coming up and my sister keeps asking me, what kind of cake do you want? I'm like, I just, I just want a vanilla cake. What is wrong with vanilla? Vanilla is amazing. Vanilla is just one. Now, here is where you're going to add your blue food coloring. You want to add it to the wet ingredients. Now, it depends on how blue you want these cookies. I'm going to start off with four drops, see how the color looks, and if I don't like it, I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, so here's how the cookies look with four drops of blue food coloring. I want them to be a little bit more blue, so I'm gonna add two more drops. Okay, I know I'm a little crazy, but I want them even bluer. So I'm gonna add two more drops. All right. 
should I? I'm gonna add two more drops. Okay, so I have a total of 10 drops. Now keep in mind, the recipe is kind of however blue you want the cookies to be. I personally want them really, really, really blue. And so the more the merrier. It looks fantastic. Now I would recommend anywhere from four to 10 drops. I added 10. Now, we are going to slowly add our dry ingredients into the wet, very, very slowly, and mix it all up. All right, so now we are gonna slowly add our dry ingredients into the wet ones. We're gonna turn it on. I'm turning it on low. And it's got a little pouring thing. And it, it looks like a big coffee cup. This bowl makes me happy. Okay, so just slowly add that in. So I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit more. I'd recommend the mixer, no more than two because you're gonna get that huge fluffy thing, the powder in your face. Nobody wants the powder in their face. I'm going to turn it up to three because the dough's getting a little. It's looking amazing. Look how good that looks. All right, that's the last of our wet ingredients. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit higher to get it all mixed in. Yummy right now. Look how amazing that looks. It looks delicious. Okay. So we added that. And now we are going to add the chocolate chips. Because what cookie is good without chocolate chips? I don't care. I, I am sorry. Sugar cookies are not as good. They're just not. We'll be adding two cups two of chocolate chips chocolate chunks whatever kind of chocolate you have as long as it's chocolate it'll be so we'll be adding two cups or 12 ounces depending on how you want to measure things one two and now we're gonna mix it so, mix it all up in there. Look how great that looks. Okay, it reminds me of the cooking monster in the best way possible. All right, so let's go ahead and take this over to our baking sheet and we will go ahead and get them on the baking sheet. Here's our delicioso cookies. I'm just going to go ahead and what I like to do is kind of roll them into a ball. They could be anywhere from about, and they can be anywhere from about a tablespoon to about two tablespoons, depending how big you want your cookies. I like them big, so I'm going to be making them pretty big. I'm going to be making them about this big. You just roll in a ball and you plop it on there. You get another one, roll it into a ball, plop it on there. Oh my, <laughs> my hands are turning blue. <laughs> You might want to wear gloves for this part. I'm pretty sure it'll all wash off though. I like to give my cookies a lot of room to breathe. So this is the first batch. This is how it looks. Ah, slipping and sliding. I'm gonna go ahead and plop these in the oven and grab another baking sheet. We're gonna leave these in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. We do not wanna overcook them. We just want them to be a light 
brown. Very delicious. Well, they won't be brown, but kind of browned on top. We really want that blue to show, so we don't want them too dark. Here's what our next batch is gonna look like. And I'm gonna put that over to the side, put it in the oven when the other batch is done. Keep in mind, the amount of cookies you're gonna have is always gonna vary. It depends how big you make the cookies, how big you roll the balls, everything like that. But this recipe is a kind of big. So I'll be making a lot of cookies. All right, and that is all our cookies. Look at my hands. <laughs> They're so blue. And now we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for those cookies to bake before we put in these other ones. Cause we don't wanna like mess with the times and stuff. Cause that's, that's just stuff we're not gonna do. Waiting on the world to change. My nephew will love these. I suppose, you know, I wish I could have blue food all the time. I wonder if the Queen of England has blue food all the time. I mean, they have that fight in Percy Jackson on whether or not there are blue foods. And that's why Percy's mom constantly tries to make blue foods a reality. But when we look around, can we actually name a blue food? Blueberries are not blue, they are purple. Oh, our timer's done. Let's check on our cookies. <gasps> oh, they look so great. But they're not quite there yet. I'm gonna give them about another minute. I'm gonna put a timer on for another minute and 30 seconds. Keep in mind, it's eight to 10 minutes. So it's however you like your cookies. I think they need a little bit longer. All right, that's our timer. So go, let's go check on the cookies now. They've been in the oven for nine minutes and 30 seconds. And they look perfect. They're just getting that nice little brown, just barely brown on top. And you can really see the blue. And now we are going to leave them out to cool. And we are gonna put the other two pans in. Now, we want to leave these to cool for a while, a long time, because as, as yummy as they are, all nice and warm, they're better when they're cool. I'm sorry, they just are. They don't fall apart as much, and you're not worried about, like, the, the chocolate all over your mouth and everything. So, I would recommend leaving them on. I would recommend leaving them on the bake pan for two minutes before you put them on a cooling rack or just leave them on the bake pan overnight. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so it's been longer than two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and move these cookies from the baking sheet to our plate. And they have set so beautifully. Just look at this perfect little blue cookie, I think. Sally Jackson, Percy Jackson's mom, would be super proud of us. Look at that blue plate of cookies. Blue on blue. You know what? You can't even tell how beautiful this is because it's a blue plate. There we go. Now we can tell how beautiful this is. Look at those gorgeous blue cookies. Look at how beautiful they are. If they're ever looking for somebody else to host Nailed It, I volunteer. Cause I think I would do like a killer job. And here's our final patch of beautiful blue cookies. Straight from the oven. They look delicious. And here's our final product. Now remember to check out the recipe. It can be found down below. We've got a gluten-free version and this version that I made. The gluten-free version is also really, 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 really yummy. Remember to add anywhere from four to 10 drops of food coloring, depending on how dark you want your blue to be. And be sure to check out Rick Riordan's incredible book.
book. Incredible. Seriously, it's my still one of my favorite books of all time. And it's called Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. You can pick it up at the Pflugerville Public Library, or you can go online to our website and find it on Libby. You can find it on Overdrive, which is Libby. You can find it on all sorts of places. If you need help, you can always call or contact us. And be sure to come by the library. We are currently open to the public. And while we're not doing programs right now, you can still stop by and get amazing books. And we look forward to seeing you. Have a wonderful summer and be sure to check out the next baking video. Woohoo, baking! We love baking! I'm gonna go eat cookies. Well, I'm not gonna eat these, but my sister is gonna eat cookies now! All right, and our blue cookies are all done. They look so good and they smell delicious. Remember, you can find the recipe below. We've got the actual version, which I made, and the gluten-free version. Both are amazing. Remember to add anywhere from four to 10 drops of food coloring, depending on how dark blue you want your cookies to be. I added 10. And be sure to check out this page for more Pflugerville Library related content and come by the library. We're actually open and you can browse for books. While we're not doing programs right now, be sure to come by and see all the incredible books. We're happy to help you in any way. And be sure to check out Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, where this recipe was, it came from. That is seriously such, such, such a good book. And while it's technically a middle grade, I would recommend it for any age. Seriously, I still reread it to this day and I'm like 24, almost. Well, be sure to check out in the future for more cooking videos and just more awesome activities. I hope you have a wonderful summer. And remember, you can check out the book at our actual location and online. Make sure to subscribe. See you next time.